oh yeah we have this we have this wild 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 story courtesy of the new york post it says woman sucker punched in the head and robbed in new york city subway station video you would assume she's got robbed though innit? you wouldn't assume someone getting sucker punched in the head it's just like a little tap you know it's not like a little love tap to get her attention but when i saw this i thought to myself you know what new york is back baby new york is back um well the last time i went was what 2000 and was it 10 or 2009 and you know that was mostly to go and do the whole pilgrimage to go visit the supreme store in lafayette over there in new york I, you know i've heard so much about it i obviously went to go check out the new york thing store too that was when it moved from lower east side to whatever new place it was and what's his face was there um uh, Widow Dave was working behind the till at New York when I went there, so it was a great experience. We got to pop into the Mighty Health. Is it no? We got Mighty Healthy. What was the store we went to? All of the alien creatures and shit. What was that brand called again? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot the name of it, but they kind of had like a really um, graffiti style um, aesthetic. Loads of weird monsters. What were they called? Not Mighty Healthy. Oh, I forgot what it's called, but you know, the, if you listen to this and you know about streetwear culture, you will understand what the brand was. And we went in a great time, but I do remember being on a subway and feeling like, no wonder people get robbed on these things, right? They feel they feel like you're going to the hood. Just being on a subway alone feels like you're you're going to a, a project somewhere. It's mad, isn't it? How it is over there. Um, obviously, the 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 kind of what do you call it? Um, the melange of people that are on those subways is obviously quite similar to how it is in the UK, but I'd say it's probably a little bit more rougher there in the States because, you know, naturally I'm assuming the disparity between the poorest and the richest in New York is just insane. Whereas I feel like here in the UK, we kind of have a good way of masking those things. People are a little bit more, I would say humble, but they're a little bit more modest with their wealth. So you don't really see that sort of stuff. You know, it's, 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 it's a whole different game. And obviously it depends what time you go on the train. You go on a train here in the UK from like, you know, what, any time between 5 to 8 a.m. Most of the people you're seeing on there are people of the same, you know, socioeconomic level, people from, you know, uh, foreign countries that have come here to, you know, to make something happen and give their kids and their family a better life. And then obviously as the hours progress, especially if you go, leave liverpool street for the hours of three to four or three to five you see a whole different type of people who live in who live over here in the uk and have a far far maybe you know healthier bank balance let's say so anyway this story is from new york post it said disturbing new surveillance video footage released by a new york um, uh, nypd shows a moment that a mugger sucker punched a woman in an east village subway station and rips off her backpack the 23rd victim was walking out of the l train station at 14th street and first avenue looking down at her phone which is always a bad move right looking down at your phone when you're crossing the street looking down at your phone when you're um entering a train station looking down at your phone when you're entering a shop is never a good move i've always been on the thinking and this is uh, and i've never had an attempt in jacking on me but i'm just kind of being safe because i know how easy it is to take someone's smartphone out of their hand when it's just like you know you're walking down the street you just got it like this it's just prime for someone just to take out your hand so i've always been under the assumption that if you do go out with your smartphone and you want to check it whilst you're out and about you're best to check it when you're in a place, when you're standing at a bus stop, um, in a station, like standing, right? So you can kind of look around where you are. You're in a restaurant, you're in a bar, you're in a shop, whatever. That's where I usually kind of do. I try and stop and then kind of look around and then check my phone. I don't just walk around looking at my phone whilst I'm out and about. I don't think that's a very smart tactic to do, especially during these COVID times, which we'll go on later. It said a few minutes before 6 p.m. Sunday when the stranger ran up behind and clobbered her in the side of the head according to the police and a video clip released early. Um, he then grabbed her bag which contained her MacBook Air, oh no, debit card and credit cards and ran off, cops said. The victim refused medical attention on the scene for swelling on her head. So she's, you know, Jesus Christ, imagine the trauma. The suspect was still at large on Tuesday. Cops describing as a 30 year old uh, and 5 feet 5, weighing 200 pounds with a light complexion. How did they think he was 30 specifically? Or say around that age? Um, he was last seen wearing a black winter but, uh, hat, a light colored scarf around his neck, and red and black jacket. He was carrying a large blue bag. So I wonder how easy it would be to get someone like this in this up uh, because I imagine there's a lot of surveillance underneath the subway, right? Obviously, hence this video. Video. let's watch the clip and see uh, what that looks like Oof. that was a solid hit as well inside the head and let's go back again bam yo he absolutely decked her in it 
she went fly hit her head on the little card machine thing and he ripped off the bag and plus she, she, she did that annoying thing that a lot of people do where they carry their bag like a tote so you just have it on one strap and it's always really low because they don't want to be bothered to kind of oh, it hurts my back when they put it on two shoulders it's like that's what happens basically when you hold your bag like that and it's and it doesn't really look like a bag that you're meant to put stuff in it it kind of you know those kind of bags that looks more like a decoration as opposed to like a functional backpack um, it looks like if you put too many things in it you know the straps will start to tear the seams but jesus christos he came through with his flipping bandana mask over his face and clobbered her he was obviously looking for somebody a lick somewhere in sandals too you know americans are wild right? shorts and sandals this guy just jacked her bag he houses and you know what's funny too you know what's uh, not funny you know what's sad she probably knew he was there she probably had a bad feeling she probably was like her sixth sense probably going off like danger 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 but by the time she realized there was danger you know she was already seeing stars and her phone was out of her. I'm, I'm i'm assuming he took the phone too or did he lose the phone maybe he left the phone because you know there was no point because it's going to break it I'm assuming you can probably, assuming there's probably more potential of you getting money, extracting money out of a laptop that you've stolen as opposed to a phone, right? It's pretty useless. But shizers, man. Shizers. New York is back, in it? And again, this is a sign of the times we're living in at the moment. You know, COVID, uh, people are suffering. People are in dire straits. They're trying to, you know, make the best of a bad situation. They don't have any government assistance. Jobs are out of the blue. Families completely torn apart. You know, that could be one. Or it could just be people taking advantage of situations similar to the protests that were happening later in, you know, last year in summer. Oh, Jesus, they've got his face in full HD, mate. Jesus, I wonder if they're able to catch the guy. So, um, yeah, look, they've got his whole face there, his whole face. So, obviously, people are taking advantage of the situation just saying, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm desolate. I don't have anything, so I'm going to rob people. That could just be an excuse um i think as well going, going forward but hope the girl is okay man hope she's okay but again this is another if any if you need a reminder as to why lockdowns aren't probably the best thing going forward i think we've all learned a lesson as a society you know people in government um people within certain economies or certain business sectors uh people within education healthcare, uh, people with families um, young people i think people we've all realized now collectively that lockdowns just don't work in the long term unless you're able to do lockdowns like new zealand um you know pl places in in asia like even china when you know they had outbreaks so basically to lock everybody inside their homes and tape them up and you know basically force them to quarantine by having you know armed guards outside their doors and shit which obviously we can't do because we don't live in an authoritarian or for authoritarian country but unless you can do that or unless you're living in a place like New Zealand where you're on an island and you could essentially close all your borders and manage the virus and control the virus and contain the virus a lot better than other places that are landlocked, it's just impossible to have any sort of long-term success by keeping people locked down. And the negatives just far outweigh the benefits. They just do, you know, leads to, you know, people losing jobs, families, people getting mugged like this in broad daylight under the subway. All of these things are basically a consequence, I think, of lockdown. So um, that's basically a lesson of the day. And lockdowns never again. And obviously, if you've got a phone, don't be walking and staring at your phone at the same time. Recipe for disaster. If you've got a laptop in your backpack, at least put it on both shoulders. Because anybody could just run past you and pull it off your arm too. You, know, she doesn't, you don't need to be clobbered on the head. So yeah, word to the wise. Word to the wise.